So this is a quick video to show generating query beans using the query bean generator, which is a Java annotation processor. Um, and we're going to use and um, incorporate that using uh, Maven. So here I've got a Maven project and it's got some entity beans in it. So this is a document and it's an entity. And um, before we start, um, you should probably go and install um, the query bean enhancement plugin. So go to settings, um, plugins, and um, if you search, so I've already got it installed, but if you browse the repository, you'll be able to see um, the enhancer there and install that. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that later. So now you've got your Maven project. Um, what we need to do is um, add some dependencies. So the first dependency here is the actual query bean generator. So this is um, I'm going to hook into Java C and actually generate the query beans as part of compile. Um, if you set it up as provided scope, then it's not included in the final artifact and that's probably what you want to do. Uh, and it has a dependency on query bean itself, so Vagi or EbenRM query bean. So we've incorporated that. Now all we need to do is, is rebuild our project. And what happens there is that um, it automatically detects that we've got that annotation processor in, in there and generates the query bean. So in our generated sources, we see these um, query beans. So here's, for example, um, the document that we're looking at. So it's got some various properties ID, version, title, body, etc. Now, uh, in this case, um, you can see that um, the red and means that the um, source is excluded <clears throat> or directory is excluded, and the yellow means it's included. So, if you're if you're struggling with the next part, which is to actually use the query beans, just check that the um, actual generated sources is included as an included source, which means in, in this case it'll be a slightly different color. So um, if we go to a test, uh, let's find a test here. Here we go. Uh, we can actually um, create a query. So query document. Uh, let's just new up one of those. Uh, in this case here, sorry. In this case, we can we can give it an eBean server instance, or if we don't, that means we're using a default server, and then we can get the properties on. So we can say, you know, uh, title. Um, so title is a string property, so we get um, sort of contains and ends with and starts with types things. So it starts with um, um, awesome. Um, and if you so organization name um, equal to case incentive equal to uh, Lego, say, and find list. Let's do that. A list of documents. So um, the if we run this query, um, should should have success. Uh, and go to the end here just to sort of show that awesome Lego, and that's the query that we've run. Now, <clears throat> the reason why we uh, we have this is so that um, we can do two things. We can, if we go to the document and, and add a property, uh, let's go and add a local date, um, start date, some of that. Now, if I um, uh, compile, that will automatically modify the, the generated query bean. So our queue document will now have a, a start date property, which it does. So um, if we actually look at the messages, we'll see that um, so this first stuff, these first two messages here are from the annotation processor saying that it generated the uh, manifest file and it generated one query bean for an entity uh, and no embeddable beans. So that's the one that we changed. If we did a um, rebuild, <coughs> And it's uh, generated query beans for five entities. So this is the output here. 
and then there's some enhancement um, stuff that you can also check so that we're actually enhancing the query beans and cores and stuff anyway so um, we go to our document list and we say you know um, so uh, start date start date um, uh, greater oh, so let's say uh, let's see. What is it? After. Hmm. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, no, it's just a little bit silly, but local date min, or maybe now, there we go. Um, so we've got our query and start date. Now, one of the reasons for having query beans in the first place, so one is we have um, compile time checking on the actual paths in the object graph so these are the properties if you like we get type checking on the actual parameters so this is a, a local date so it's expecting a local date in the, the bind values this is a string so it's expecting a string here for example um, if we have ID ID is a long so um, uh, so if we look at the between we have an overload for int as well because that's so common but um, yeah so between um, so the other thing that it does is it obviously means that if we change our entity being structure then it will fail so it's uh, if we get rid of start date um, and compile uh, we we have an error down here and saying it doesn't exist so we know that or if we changed it to, you know, start, no, no, it's crazy, start when, there we go. Um, then again, our, our uh, query fails. So basically the idea is that at compile time, it's checking the, the structure of the query. And you run it again. So that's that's basically it. Um, well, so a quick summary of, of, of what we're talking about here. Um, one is that you you need the plugin for the query bean enhancement. Um, you can look in the messages here to see uh, the enhancement occurring and the query bean generation occurring. Um, and in terms of dependencies for the POM. Uh, you add in one dependency here, which is the actual generator itself. That's the Java annotation processor that generates the query beans. And then we need this dependency. This provides the types. So for example, if we go to uh, here, we've got this types P long, P timestamp. These are the, these are the types that actually have the um, expressions. Oh, that's going to be a bit confusing, but the expressions like like um, starts with ends with greater than etc uh, and there's special ones for JSON and associated beans etc so those are the two dependencies pull them in uh, have the plugin on and you should be able to um, use your query beans and as soon as you change the entity beans and compile the query beans will be regenerated and you'll get your queries uh, um, failing to compile telling you that um, something's changed in terms of the structure of the entity beans so that's it hopefully that's pretty good <laughs>